So I've never been much of a fountain pen fan, but I recently picked up this Pilot Metropolitan, sometimes known as the uh, Pilot MR. And this is a uh, really affordable, surprisingly nice fountain pen. Uh, it sells for, you know, uh, maybe about $18 at the high end and, uh, you know, down towards like 10 to 12 on uh, Amazon. And it's a full metal body fountain pen, again, from Pilot. Comes with a steel nib. And uh, depending on the model you get, there can be some embellishments to it. This is just a plain silver one. There's also a plain black, which has a sort of nice uh, matte coating. They, they all have a sort of nice matte coating. And then this uh, center section, which I believe is also metal, but might be coated in plastic, has uh, sometimes has some designs on it if you want to get one that's a little bit fancier. It's sold in a few different sizes, you know, uh, standard range, medium, italic, medium, fine. I do not believe there's an extra fine, uh, but I picked up the medium in silver. Again, cost me like 10, 12 bucks, uh, though a typical price would be more about 18 to 20. Uh, with the pen, you get this nice little case. I guess that's pretty cool. Probably never use it again. Uh, this instruction manual here doesn't show off a whole lot. Just uh, some instructions about different pilot pens, including ones that you didn't buy. But it does have the fountain pen instructions. And you get a one refill. This is if you want to use the cartridge style. You just pop this thing in here and you're good to go. I believe it includes Pilot Blue ink. That's the box. Uh, it also includes a squeeze converter. Uh, so basically, the pen can be used with a cartridge or you could use this converter here. And basically, this is just a little bulb. You squeeze it uh, and it can pull in ink. Uh, you could also upgrade this with a Pilot, uh, like a Converter 40, a Con 40, which is about a 5 or $6 upgrade. It's uh, fairly reasonable, and a lot of people do it, which that's a nicer converter. This bold converter is, uh, it gets the job done, but the capacity is extremely small, and uh, you can't see how much is in here. This isn't black because I'm using a black ink. It actually is an opaque black, so uh, it's really not ideal but it's free and uh, it's pretty reasonable to use for a time if you don't have uh, converters lying around and you don't want to use the included cartridge. Uh, day to day, I think this is actually a really nice pen, a lot of value. And even if you're not a fountain pen, like if you're thinking about dipping your toes in the water, then this is a nice way to go because it has a nice weight to it. It's uh, low key, could come off as a rollerball or even a Sharpie. So you don't have to have like a really bright like in your face fountain pen which is is not something i'm particularly into and then uh at under 20 dollars, you really don't have to worry about losing it or breaking it or cleaning it out once a week and if you want to try some weird ink like totally go for it in this case i'm using this sailor black ink i forgot the uh, actual name but this is the uh the pigmented black ink and uh someone had recommended it recently so i picked it up to give it a shot as for the writing experience goes, I would say this is a, a good writing fountain pen, but it's like no one's gonna be blown away. It's got a really stiff nib, and that's why it's steel, and uh, obviously very affordable, so it's tough, and you don't have to worry about babying this nib, but it's definitely uh, not like you're gonna write and feel like you're writing with a, uh, a fancy gold nib or some really crazy experience that you've never had before. On the design side, it's nice and plain, and it's uh, reasonably small. I believe it's called the number four size. Uh, I don't know that to be true, and it's got a, a plastic back. The gripping section is actually a little bit on the small side, and the, the area here is kind of abrupt. So uh, just on the comfort side, maybe it's not ideal, but it's got a nice snap. And uh, that's good if you don't wanna be, you know, uh, have to untwist your fountain pen every time you use it, which can be a little bit annoying sometimes. So again, this is the Pilot Metropolitan. And 
that nice, quick follow through, no problems there. Smooth upstroke. So actually the writing experience is surprisingly good for what it is. It's just like it writes nicely. The There's not a lot of line variation. So that's something to keep, take into account. It's, it's not like you get a real satisfying fountain pen experience, but you do get obviously a fountain pen with a steel nib. You could use the ink of your choosing. You get some line variation. But uh, not as much as you get from a more flexible gold nib. That said, that's not what this is about. This is about getting a fountain pen, being able to use a cool ink, and having an enjoyable writing experience that is uh, extremely reliable and dependable, and uh, not something you have to think too much about because you just spent you know, 18, 20 bucks on the pen. So from that standpoint, the uh, Metropolitan is really a phenomenal experience and a phenomenal deal. Uh, but it's uh, more of the type of thing you use either, if you're a fountain pen fan, you use it just as your day-to-day -day pen, if you don't wanna use something more expensive, or it's uh, really nice to use as you're kind of like interested in fountain pens, but not really sure that they're the thing for you. So yeah, that's the Metropolitan or MR from Pilot. Thanks for watching.